especially the fact that, well, that Peach, Matty Ice. Huh. But it's not just, it's because, like, Ultimate's, like, game engine is, like, it benefits Peach so much. And the fact that she has that float cancels makes her so dangerous. Imagine any other character with float. It's, like, so crazy to think about how much any other character could do with that and how much Peach gets on it. Yeah, like, have you seen the... Have you seen people, what they can do with the Tanuki? The item? Yeah. Yeah, you just use that, and everyone's like, wow, I can just kind of change forever. But hopefully, we're going to see some Ninja with Razo going onto the Peach, and Matty Ice on the ZSS. And hopefully, this is a different one we saw before. I feel like we're far enough into this block now where we're going to start to see some players really showing everything they got. You know, we saw that last set with the guest, and I'm expecting another really good set here between Razo and Matty Ice. Always starting off with the stare. Actually gets an up smash up oh. and a great reaction with the neutral air. Oh my god, Matty Ice already doing a great job, but it only it's about time until Razzo starts to get his combo started with this Peach. Always had a turn up, always got the time, and another projectile ready to go, but Matty Ice with this pressure with this aerials though. Oh no. I bet he gets something started, but that's ZSS. Two frame jab or is it one frame? I believe it's frame two. That's crazy still, but. There we go. Razo's trying to find his way in, but a great neutral base game so far. Both the players really trying to space things out with the air dodge. The spot dodge cancel as well. Trying to get something down, but Matty has plenty of the opportunity, but Razo able to slip in another area. I and a float there. That's going to be a lot of damage, Ooh. but the berry that reached from so far away, and Matty, Matty Ice taking the first dodge with the uh, boost kick. Matty Ice doing a great job going it in the boost kick. Does kill ridiculously early. Gets hit up with the little bits of it. Was able to recover. Ledge Trump trying to be used. Both rolling in the same direction. But Matty Ice planning to get away. The up smash as well for a little more damage. Rosso trying to finish the stock ASAP. Right, back uh, shield almost going to kill. But not from all the way across Pokemon Stadium number two. Oh, he gets away with that. Thankfully, that was a, that's like a really hard situation to get yourself out of. That float cancels is such a threat. But Matty Ice, he's got so much rage to work with. 59%. The taser barely misses with the nair. The back air, they just... Oh, wow. That didn't go how I expected to at all. That one took me a minute to process. But yeah, Razo is able to get the nair and force Matty Ice on, across the stage. The back though, not going to kill yet. Air dodge comes out from Matty Ice just to change his momentum. Oh. That neutral air will do it. It's so hard to escape from the situation. Went for a float, dare, and it instantly hit him up with another attack. Oh, there we go, Razo. Trying to get another string down, chases him down, but thankfully shielded out. Matty Ice chasing him down, trying to find an opportunity. Here comes the chaser into the other special. Start number two for him. Yeah, Matty Ice putting up a real good fight here against Razo. Razo already backed into the corner on this game one on his last stock. Has two to take from Matty Ice. Matty Ice doing so well, and only at 57% gets a nice little 1, 2, 3 combo, but the bear caught out for one more. Razo! Oh my god, Razo, explosive Peach Bomber right there, is going to seal out the stock and keep Razo very healthy in this game. Yeah, that's the momentum shift he really needed. Definitely he can take this game, but Matty Ice has been pouring phenomenally, and look at those low cancel bears to put the pressure on for it. Trying to get something down, but Razo quickly on the chase, cornering Matty Ice, but do you remember? You guys can get, play it a little safe and force them out. Here comes the grab, trying to let attack, but unable to find anything so far. All right, there's the back here. Matty Ice and Razo really even on this game one right now. Only an 8% difference. Yeah, I think was one really good thing I love seeing Matty Ice. He's not letting himself get the standard Peach combo where he gets down tilted and eats a bunch of damage. He's yeah. doing a really good job finding his way around it and even forcing Razo into this corner and using his taser and his really great movement options to make sure that Razo has to keep guessing where he's going to go. Yeah, and Raz Is that going to do it, it up here? Yeah, sure. No, not quite, but very close. I, I wasn't sure how good Peach's double jump was, to be honest. Alright, Maya's just gonna flip kick to the other side of the stage, resets. Oh, he cancelled his tether, but this is the pressure. Can he get away from Razo? But he does a phenomenal job. Razo, Razo has to be so careful because he can't land on Matty Ice's shield. He knows an Apia shield will do it. Ooh, he's still Comes alive. Up somebody's alive. And a bomb. The bomb. That was a bomb. Yo. 
chill out with that. Trying to use his side special as well. It's such a close game. Last hit. Trying to get something down. Rosso on these bears as well. Both of them hitting the shield. The side special. Oh, he extended out his hit. That'll box. do it. Rosso clutching out game number one. Matty Ice was playing up a hell of a fight. Yo, that bar? I. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. I mean, he missed it, so we can't say much, but that's good, just good luck. Like. Imagine you're Matty Ice and you like barely recover, and then all you see is just this bomb just whiz right past yeah. you. Like that's definitely got to be some damage. But Matty Ice, phenomenal play in game number one. But Razo, being the great player as he is, he's managed to clutch it out. I want to see Matty Ice at, at a, adapt right now though, because you know sometimes you have that really close game with a top player, and you barely, barely lose it, and then, and then it kind of just gets away from you. The momentum's gone. You're in your own head. You have to just reset. This is game number one if you're Matty Ice right now. Yeah. As far as you're concerned, you never lost that first game. And trying to find his way around it. And Razo, let's not keep him out of the equation because he's definitely been adapting this matchup. I get something down. Here come the full cancel. They're so oppressive. But Matty Ice, he seems to find his way around it just in time. But here we go. Oh my goodness. Razo with this pressure. But both and actually even percentages. find an option in this scenario, but it was way too close. He actually hit him with the jab. He wasn't too sure that he was actually going to hit him, but a great usage of the Zare. This is the this is the ZSS that you wanted to see with that Zare. Using that as a pressure Exactly. Tool. Just poking and poking until you can finally get an opening. The multi-hit of the side being trading with Peter's forward air. Not really a good trade for Matty Ice. That's not what he wants. You know, multi-hits like that, they aren't going to add up if they don't all connect. Yeah, no. Matty Ice has got to be careful in this scenario. He's getting a little bit of strings down, but one straight hit from Razo, especially, especially like uh, that when you do an option like that, that's questionable. Great news is I'm canceling it and then probably placed back here. Matty Ice quickly on the hunt. Oh, oh no. no. I like the idea. I really do. He just had to jump farther back before he did the upbeat. That's a huge opportunity though. Oh, oh no. here we go. Here we go. He caught it out the air dodge as well. 48%. Oh, goodness. That's a huge opportunity, and Razo quickly capitalizes on it. He barely recovers, and he gets grounded up special. Here we go, Rise of Sure. Oh, my goodness. Matty Ice, he's still got it. He just needs to land a few hits in and try to get his way in, but Razo, he's not going to let that happen for free. Recovery. Hit himself. Oh, my Catches goodness. him jumping. The game is slipping away from Matty Ice at this point. Razo, he just needs one good confirm. And look at this, he, even though he misses the second hit, Matty Ice just feels so pressured. He buffers out an option and gets hit up for a little more. He caught him out there, but it quickly interrupted by Razo's aerial in return. Yeah, and Razo just kind of commanding this one. He does have his back to the corner. Can Matty Ice make something happen here? It's really important that he can find this stock soon. It takes too much more damage. It's going to look neat. Nearly impossible. Yeah, and Ubi out of shield won't kill just yet. Not even close into the corner, but oh, Razo is able to recover barely. But a great yeah, usage of that. B reversal trying to come into play, but look at that blow catch off point. Razo trying to walk up a little more. Oh, oh, my God, the avoidance. Yeah, oh, my, he barely slipped away from that one. Oh, great parry, but no punish. Yeah, and you know he knew the down B was coming onto his shield. Looked. Oh, you can't do that, Matty Ice. So unfortunate. Matty Ice played really, really good game one. Yeah. So to see it end like that is really sad for me. I mean, that's what you were talking about. Like, you kind of let to your head, and you made, like, big mistakes that cost you the set yeah. in that scenario. But Razo definitely played out of his mind. Now he finally was able to get those strings that we were so famous about. But Peach doing a great job winning that game out. But on set next, we have Ooh. Ketchup. Coming up. Ketchup, new, the only newcomer on the SoCal PR this season, mm -hmm. ranked number 13 with Ludwig von Koopa. Yeah, I mean, if you don't already know about Ketchup, Ketchup's been making a name with himself, right? He's I feel like after that clip of him three stocking gluten, gluteny, then everyone kind of knows about him now. My favorite was he wasn't ranked at the time. He was obviously about to be ranked, had yeah. a very incredible season last one. Uh, to make it onto our PR at number 13. 
but everyone kind of in the comments of that sort of toasty uh, tweet was, how is he not ranked? Yeah. What do you mean he's not ranked? You're lying to me, all that. Uh, so it's going to be a really interesting uh, season for him now that he is on it. Can he, you know... Can he stay on it? Can he stay on it? The pressure comes on sometimes, especially when you first get ranked. At, the pressure is really on you to hold on. Loomering was talking about it too. Like yeah. There's a lot of pressure being on the PR, and especially the fact that once you're in the PR, people tend to cheer against you. Yeah. Everyone wants to see an upset. Everyone wants to see.